Mm-hmm. Alright, so energies. Uh, I haven't been in a place to speak really. When I speak, I'm just speaking to me, basically. So it doesn't really matter. This sense of self is shared by everyone, I feel. So maybe you've had the discussion with yourself. When you do that, it doesn't need to be spoken. It just needs an expression. But there are some things I feel uh, should be said, and the cult of personality is the big one. Aquarius coming into individuality in unity with relations of life. What separates and unites us is our uh, feelings, our emotions. Emotions, emoting. So cult of personality is really just cult of mind. The idea forms the delusion of the past was cast upon us when the data available wasn't shown so you could only see what was on the table and you took that teaching as canon, as uh, virtue, as truth and that's what society is, that's what all contracts are, that's what language is, it changes over time naturally So we're coming out of the Gemini new moon, heading into the Capricorn full moon. The secret connection here with Hermes, with Mercury, the mind, with Gemini in particular, is there's a secret issue with the father. The the ignorance or the intention of the teaching was wrong to begin with. And when it's ignorant, it's the father was um, programmed through his upbringing, the conditions of the family, the epigenetics, the culture and society, all the things going on. They carry the light and the shadow, they hand it to the child. Now with Gemini, there's a need for um, understanding in relation and the ignorance required comes to the feelings and the feelings generate the mind and the mind spins trying to see the relation external it's a curious drive so the authority complex um, what is authority you're tested with the power of not only your perception but your ability to judge and you're mired in the emotions of past trauma so you can't truly judge well so you give the power over to ideal over to uh, the greater mother the greater father society other family members And you tried to construct the utopian dream, you square the tension of the mind into a service in some way, generally towards the mother. And that represents the earth and all of us, community. But you're blinded by the uh, lack of wisdom from the father that resulted in you 
sacrificing your potential to what was because you thought that that was right. You thought. And you could only think what your experiences had shown you because you couldn't get to the emotional depths. You couldn't find the service to the self that was not in relation to information to others. To the influence of the world, the instrument of the self is highly sensitive. And the more sensitive you are, the more mind is sparked and you are either lost in the delusion or you have to resonate to an illusion and project your confusion and claim willful ignorance because it's just natural. If you don't know, there's only one to either sink or swim. So cult of mind, um, the ego, the persona, the relation to the past is what you break when you are jumping off the mountain of Capricorn into Aquarius, falling into reason through the Sky Father energy. And you ground that into um, Gaia, into the earth, and cast a new relation. And that's how Saturn balances out self and other through the Aries Libra thing. Axis. <laughs> and that's what informs the emotional flows and what you do with that tension in form and Capricorn. So there's this energy here that we're tapping into. You know, it's not that things aren't true, it's just you choose what's true and what isn't, and then you, um, it's okay to do that, it's natural, but if you are proud of your willful ignorance, then you deserve whatever you get. Unfortunately, um, or fortunately, Saturn reality, hard facts, they, they speak for themselves. They need no acceptance. So the feudalism of spirit breaks into psyche. We um, get trapped in the mind because the mind is in relation to what it knows. It cannot create anything new. It can only follow. So we're tasked with balancing Libra and Aries here. Now the nodes are squaring Mercury on the full moon in Capricorn. Leaning into the north node. Informing your Martian energies, your vitality, your passion for life. What sparks you, what keeps you alive, even though you die so many times in life, in many different ways? What keeps you coming back? Why? Why is the fool so hard-headed? It's like a divine discontent through ironic loops where you know the answer but you can't accept it because you don't know the feeling yet. You have to understand the feeling in order to honor it and that's what Gnosis is. That's what ignorance brings to the cultivation of progression which we call wisdom. It's really just building upon what you've learned through what you didn't know and not being held in the judgments of the mind loops of the wound forever. And that's where Uranus conjunct Algo at 25 Taurus can do to us. It can keep us staring into the abyss. We don't realize that the image is changeable. We ourselves are changeable. The persona can fall in relation to relation itself. What are you staring at? What are you honoring? Who are you honoring? Why? Is it you or is it an echo of a ghost? 
you um, slink back into the flow, the currents of the river of your life, or do you find your own flow and go with that? Or do you get out of the river and go to the mountaintop because that's where the moon is and you want to feel the light? That's the energy of the times. Normieville apocalypse is upon us, but it's apocalypse of all and it's within, bringing, being brought out. A lot of people are deep in sleep. They're uh, working on very deep energies. The spirit that they're cultivating is uh, maybe it's a long process. You know, if you're building a pyramid, even if you complete it and you're going to build another one, you got to start at the bottom again. So it's so. Uh, no judgments, it's just where are you right now? Judgment is the truth of reality and how you uh, respond to it. So, writing's been on the wall a long time. We just we didn't understand that we had an issue with our own repressed power projecting it into false icon and profit for profit. And the prophet was our spiritual will that we were paying in to false beliefs. And so, work your Taurus here. What is the transformation of your belief? Upgraded, updated, more information of the value of yourself. And you see that your lack of worth in self is why the world is as fucked up as it is because... We're taught not to stand in our power in ways which benefit other people. We're taught to systemize learning and the human experience and that kills the spirit and it's filled in by fucking bureaucracy. Bean counting, linear projecting, analytical mind is not what should be leading a human being. The felt presence of experience is the language of the heart. And you gotta get through your own pain to be able to tell what's you and what isn't. So Pluto retrograde at one degree Aquarius just come out of the square with Mars in the early degrees of Taurus, Venus is conjunct the Sun opposing the Moon as is Mercury. So follow the language of your feeling. Forget the teachings of the past. Use that as um, informing your perspective, broadening your scope so that you can feel into the more authentic truth of who you are. And it's in what you do. We are what we are in relation to. When you have that um, room to grow naturally because you've given yourself enough space or you've understood that the information isn't just the truth, it uh, puts you back into being the informer of yourself to realize you're holding shadows and that's why you feel the way you do and by honoring this development of the self, the cultivation of your awareness, that's how you cure all the ills. And you might find the mountain top or you might find the flow in the process. The world wants to give us the currents, you know, it wants to channel us into probabilities over potential. So you've got to take the probabilities of your outcomes and turn those into potentials. What could you do if you had one life to live? One dream to share, one dream to realize. What would you do? This is the perfect world for that kind of a dream because the world is not looking too hot. 
and it never was. We're just now we're seeing it because um, it's time. All right, well, that's all I wanted to say. So thanks for watching, listening, and being.